So let's just put our heads. I cannot walk in there. The door handle already is a nice mess. So y'all have seen I have been on a tear cleaning already. This is what my house had looked like. Yeah, that's not. Looks like it snowed. Looks like it snowed, doesn't it? Hey, you're supposed to be doing school, sister. Yeah, Aiden, why are you skating around in the house? You're supposed to be doing school. Today I brought a big bell for them. Not that they'll nearly eat that, but it gives them something to nibble on. It's been raining so bad. Uh, today we have a clear, um, it's clear. It's not raining yet. It's supposed to rain again. You see how dark it is right here. It's blue right there. But all these dark clouds are coming over. So we gave them a, a, a bell to eat on like we do the cows and we'll move it with them. We thought about moving them deeper down in these woods. And there's a little grass area you saw right there. Um, I don't think I am just because it was a little wet and that's kind of where they were a long time ago. So we might not move them that far. We may just start moving our way back around to their fresh pasture over here. And of course this thicket that we talked about. So, but for the day, I gave them some some hay I mean, they don't have any this this area that they're in is not bad by any means it's actually up on the hill so it's a little dry so i kind of want to keep them in that dry area instead of maneuvering them right now into these open fields because these fields are kind of wet so i don't i don't really want to put them there uh baby clarabelle is doing phenomenal let's see if i can get a good shot of her she's she's nursing right now but she's doing phenomenal mama's doing well um you see <laughs> Daisy is huge. She's actually a little bit bigger than what uh, Minnie was. So Daisy should be having a baby anytime. Look at, let's see if we can get a good shot. Here I have some extra scoby. If y'all heard us talk about kombucha some, this is what is actually needed. This is kind of like your mother of the drink that ferments your drink. It is a live bacteria and yeast that grows to ferment. I have this much extra and I pull it off because because if it if it gets too thick which is great if it forms a SCOBY hotel, but if it gets too thick, it ferments really fast. And my um, kids won't drink it if it's too fermented because it gets really, really strong. So what helps with that to not ferment it quite so fast is if you pull some off. So I pulled some off and I'm about to give it to the chickens because they love it. So you see them having a fit over that SCOBY. They are tearing it in little pieces and it is so healthy for them. So there's your treat, girls. Y'all have heard y'all have heard us talk about um, not getting much eggs this year. So we've really been trying to pay them special attention like we have one in this container today now to all those chickens we should be getting more than that um but it is still cold so we're going to give them a little bit longer no eggs in here we do have some fake eggs that we've kind of tried to keep in there for them um to kind of help them want to lay but it has not helped for the most part there's no eggs over there either. So one egg. That's what we got today. Don't you try to come out of there. <laughs> we got the Freedom Rangers. They try to run out. They have been something. And Cornish Cross will definitely be the meat type meat birds that we keep. And these Freedom Rangers, we had talked about keeping those for their egg production because they are a dual purpose bird and then hatch those out to keep that cycle going to always have meat birds when we want to hatch our own we can do that but y'all 
they're like major escape convicts. They're worse than like, I would be willing to say they're worse than goats. So, <laughs> uh, they're probably gonna go. We're not keeping them for their eggs. We gave them a bed. You see it's wet right here, so we put their, their hay on down in the field. But we've got, we went on and got uh, Nellie out. She was a little bit behind Ollie in delivering. But she is just showing full signs of not being in labor yet, but so close. You can see she is just full, full, full. So we're going to try to get her on up and get her in with Ollie. And then that way she'll be close to the barn too. Nellie is not really a good leader and a follower to us. She likes to follow the cow. So we've worked her around all the way to right here to this field, which is where behind our greenhouse and gardens, uh, or excuse me, our, our raised beds. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pull the ranger around and go ahead and let him walk her all the way through. Now she's engaged. She can't go anywhere but where we want her. But we don't want to stretch her out. So we're gonna try to walk her neatly and gently. I'm gonna pull around here and he'll bait. I have a chicken in the oven. That's one of our chickens, one of our meat birds. I have some noodles laid out. I'm going to make some chicken alfredo tonight. You saw me working on kombucha, so there's my tea. I have bread going today from my bread that we roll out. If y'all have not seen that video, it makes the most amazing bread. Y'all be sure to check that video out. And there's my bottled kombucha. We're leaving it out for its second ferment. I have put some um, pineapple juice in here with these and they will ferment until probably tomorrow afternoon for that nice carbonation. There's my leftover scoby. So I had about double of that in my dispenser and it was just firm. It, it will ferment really fast. So I took half of that out to the chickens um, just so my drink won't ferment as fast. All right, Aiden's got it right here. Run through the run. So these were the best of friends. They've been together since they were calves. So I'm glad to put them back together. This gives her a mate other than her baby, but also kind of helps her be in an area that she can calf right next to the stanchion and also the catch pen. Uh, happy to see each other. Good job, girls. And see, remember, these cows are way over there, so they'll work their way back into that barn stanchion that we just brought her through and then work their way right behind them. And then that way they'll be all together as they start this rotation back on these grounds in a few weeks. So we just want to bring her together. I think this will help give her some comfort with Nellie and Ollie being together, but also give her a place to, to calf next to the stanchion just in case we have an issue there. So. Hi, sweet girl. Hey. Hey. What you doing? I heard you trying to voice. Are you ready to eat? Oh. Hey, little uh. rascal. Can you tell everybody hey? Tell them hey. Say hey. crazy crazy morning to say the least from literally this point that you're looking at the whole back side of the house has been a disaster this morning i will show you a trick that i did to the rooms that were not needing to be sanded this morning sheetrock dust i've placed a sheet a fitted sheet over the top of this door and it is damp and all the way to the bottom and close that door completely off now you can see I did this room and the baby's rooms back there. But as you can see, even in the hallway, we've had places that needed to be fixed and patched from moving doors and lights around. We are not going in this room yet. I dread that room because that room was going to be the worst. But we've gotten the hall cleaned up. Here's again another patch. This has all been wiped down. I know I'm gonna have to wipe it down again because that's just the nature of sawdust. Y'all can see we had to do some rearranging here in the bathroom. This cabinet was set back, but because we had to add some plumbing pipes, we had to 
um, add them in the back and pull that cabinet actually up. It actually worked out okay. So now it's just flush with the wall. You know, this is originally where those pipes were supposed to go in Aiden's room. So we cut this whole wall out from top to bottom and then they said it wasn't going to work. So that was kind of a really big headache. This room was also a disaster a while ago. I'm going to show y'all what it looked like. They thought they were going to be able to access it here. That didn't work. So that was a hole that had to be fixed. Then they thought they were going to access it there. So the carpenter cut the whole wall out. Plumber said, oh, wait, it's not going to work there. So then that's when we had to go in the bathroom. So mess, I have messes everywhere. Don't you see my lovely, when I'm doing other things, my house is, uh, has lovely decorations by the kids. Uh, don't you dare go in there. So not walking in there because then I will track all through the house. But just to give you all a glimpse of what this room looks like, that's going to be a lot of fun cleaning up.